So we're going against the wall to begin. <coughs> Starting in a parallel position with the legs. Take the feet a little bit further out than the knees. Drop down into a squat position. Wrap into the back of the leg. Activate the hamstring butt connection point. And we're going to hold this for one minute. Keep working those inner thighs towards each other. Even though you're not drawing your knees towards each other, you want activation all the way through the quadricep into the hamstring butt connection point. If you don't feel it, you could drop down a little bit, but there's plenty more where this came from, comes from, came from, comes from, came from. Take a deep breath in and breath out. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, come away from the wall. We're going to go across in crab walk. So we're going to drop down into a squatted position. Whatever feels good for your knees, whether that be slightly rotated or parallel. And we're going to come across one, two, three, four. Change directions. One, mm, two, Jack, that's going to be difficult for you. Three, four, and one. Change. Two, three, four. Change. One, two, three, four. Change. One. Two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four, change. One. So, Jenna, watch that left foot of yours. Your left foot is doing that, and your right foot is kind of more parallel. So, try and get both feet facing the same direction, whatever direction that is that you'd like them to be. Change one. Two, three, four, change one, two, three, four, and 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 one. 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 Two, three, four. And one. How many more, Mandy? Two. Ten. Three. Four. We've got five more in each direction. Two. Three. Four. And one. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. And one. Two. Three. Four. Come on, Monty. Dance with us. One. Two, three, four, and one. The dogs are just like, what are they doing? <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, last one, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, and four. Whew. Come back to the wall. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm going to show you. So, Elizabeth, you can make a decision whether you think your knee's going to like it. We're in a squatted position. This one comes over and we hold. 
See how you go. All of you with knee stuff. If you think that that doesn't, so that's for you, Jenna, and also for you, Sadie. If you think that doesn't look good for you, oh, you just sit God. in a normal squat and lift one leg. Okay, here we go. Drop down. The leg that's staying on the ground needs to slightly come closer to the center of your body. Take the other leg up. Oh, and we hold. Ooh, okay. Slightly more intense than I had anticipated that to be. Are we gonna stay here for a minute as well? No, 30 seconds, good. And come back out to the center. We're going to come forward in a sumo, uh, forward in a crab walk. So we're going to come one, two, three, four, back one, two, three, four. All right, drop down. I think parallel position is a better way to go for the knees. And one, two, three, Four, back, one, two, three, four, forward, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, forward, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, <coughs> four, and one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, forward, one, two, three, Four back one, two, three, four forward one, two, three, four back one, two, three, four forward one, two, three, four back one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four back one, two, three, four and one, two, three. Four back one, two, three, four forward one, two, three, back one, two, three, four. It's quite tribal, isn't it? Two, three, four back one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four back one, two, three, four forward one, two, three, four back one. Two, three, four, forward one. Two, three, four, back one. Two, three, four, one. forward one. one. Two, three, four, back one. Two, three, four, back to the wall. Other leg. The leg that's stabilizing comes a little bit more center so it's not directly under the hip. Drop down. Lift up and across. Good morning, Esmeralda. Take the leg over and hold. 30 seconds. Oh, we can really feel one difference. The weaker leg, for sure, is a lot harder to hold this position. Oh, a little bit too low there myself. Don't start with this one, Esmeralda. Just wait till we go to the next exercise. Okay. All right, come up to the standing position. We drop into a left-hand side curtsy. Foot is up at the back. We pulse down for 30 reps. So we start with a slightly bent leg. You work within your own knee range. Pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going down very low, ten. My knees don't really like the curtsy that much, so I don't go, I don't push it. I just get enough that I can get my cord working, but not enough to irritate my knee. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. 30 pulses on the other side. And pulse one, two, three, four, five. Really open the hips up, six, seven. Connect into the glute, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides, curtsy, one. Change, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten and one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides and pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, oh, nine, ten, and a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the wall. Drop into a wall squat. Take the left leg to the center slightly. Lift the right leg up. Elongate it out. Flex the toes back and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, 30 seconds, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, change sides. Flex, elongate one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and rest. Alright, so we now have, now Elizabeth, you're not, we've got sumo squats to go and we've got calf rises to go, which probably all of those two you're not going to want to do. So Elizabeth, you could go into your remedial knee now on the chair with a leg weight and then we're going to do leg weights on the floor. So you can put your leg weights on now, do your remedial knee, then you'll be ready to go with us. We come back to the wall, guys. Take your feet a little bit more underneath the floor then. Still slightly out from the knee, but not so far out because you're going to rise up onto your toes and do that action. Find your position. Rise on the toes. One. Drop. Squeeze the glutes. Two. Three. Squeeze the glutes. Four. Five. And when I say the glutes, I mean the hamstring butt connection point. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, last ten, heel rise, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, 50 sumo squats, wide position with the legs. Drop it down, one. Squeeze it up, two. Three. Squeeze from the glutes, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one. Squeeze it up and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, last twenty, one, two, three, four, <coughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down one, hold pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come out of it, come down to the floor, pop your leg weights on. If you've got light weights, pop two onto one leg. If you've got a heavy weight, go with your heaviest leg weight that you've got, please.
So basically we're trying to make a one kilo is what you would be wanting to do. I've only got a 0.75 so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go 1.5 kilos. Oh, all right. Lay face down please. We're going to go hamstrings now. We're going to start on the one leg. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Activate the abs to support the back. Squeeze the glutes. Roll the right leg off one. In, bringing it back down. Breath out, roll it off two. Keep lifting the abs up to support the back. Breath in, bring it back down. And three. And four. Don't let this glute release. And five. Abs on. And six. Abs on and seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Come up onto your arms. Lift the leg slightly. Bring it off one. So this, the knee is not resting. The knee is just slightly trying to lift off the ground. Three, ever so slightly. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine and ten drop the body back down lift the right leg same leg lift it up one drop abdominals two three four abdominals five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you need to change weights onto the other leg, now's the time to change the weight over. <coughs> Squeeze the glutes, activate the abs, roll the leg off. One. Keep lifting the abs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, keep lifting those abs, nine, and ten. Come up onto your arms slightly, a very slight lift with the knee, like literally it's still kind of touching but trying to get off the mat, roll it in one, two. Three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, 
eight, nine, ten, drop all the way down, lift the straight leg up, one, lift it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming into a prep position for abs, you can take your leg weight off for now.
Try to keep your hip flexors as relaxed as, as relaxed as possible. If it starts to get too much on your neck, you can always take one hand behind your head and then switch hands when, that, when you've done enough on the one hand. We're gonna go for 20 reps. Hands come back. Lift, pulse, one, two, return back. Lift, pulse, one, two, and back. Okay, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, <coughs> 6, oh, 5, Four, oh, three, two, and one. Rest the arms all the way back over. We go into our roll up series. We do just a couple of normal roll ups. Then we're going to do our pauses on the way down. Then we're going to do the horrendous pauses on the way up. And then we're going to add pulses in. All right. Taking your arms up and over. Breathe in. Breathe out and lift. Reach forward. Stretch your back. Breath in. Hold. Breathe out. Begin to slowly peel yourself back. Vertebra by vertebra. And lift. Press forward. Take a breath in. Breathe out, begin to slowly roll back. And lift. Press forward, stretch. The easy bit's over. And we start with our roll downs and pulse, sorry, roll downs and holds. Hold 10. Shoulders say D, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little bit more, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little bit more, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Come back to where you just came from. Up, hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A little bit more. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A little bit more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take forward and relax. Oh, it's quite nasty the one that the, the coming back up, isn't it? All right, let's go back. Let's do it again. You know what's coming. We do exactly the same. A little bit back. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, a little bit more, hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, a little bit more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back, 
straight back to where you just came from. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We're going to pulse. 3, 2, 1. Pulse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A little bit more. Hold up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pulse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a little bit more, hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pulse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, drop forward and relax. I'm not going to make you do that again. Whew. How's everyone going? Good? Yeah? Poor Jack. Poor Jack. All right, so we are going to do laying on our backs. <clears throat> this leg is going to come up and you're going to lift your head and shoulders. You drop it back down. We do that 10 times. On the 10th one, you hold it up. You're then going to lift your right leg up. Take it back a little bit so you can get your back flat on the mat. Hold that position. We then drop this leg up and down 10 times. And on the 10th one, we hold it for 10 seconds. So it's 10 with the leg bent, hold on the 10th, lift the other leg up, flatten the lower back down, lower the leg up and down 10 times, holding for 10. <coughs> we're going to do that on the left and then we're going to do that on the right. Then we're going to do exactly on the, the same on the oblique on the left and onto the right. Hands behind your head, flex your feet, breath out, lift the left leg up, one, drop the head down, lift the head up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it ten. Lift the right leg up, make sure the lower back is nice and flat, adjust your weight, drop the right leg down, one, breath out, lift it up, in, down, two, breath out, lift it up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, ten, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest, five, four, three, two, one, switch legs up, one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Lift the other leg up. Make sure the back is nice and flat. Lower the leg down. Lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, hold it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So the oblique pretty much looks exactly the same, except when you do the held bit, do, 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 do here, this leg lifts up, you hold the oblique position. Okay, exactly the same, 10, 10, 10 second hold. 
Make sure you get your back nice and flat when you're taking that leg up and down. That means for those of you that have a problem with keeping your back flat, you're gonna to have to take that knee a good way over the hip to hold that back flat because that leg going down is a big lever, especially you, Jack. Really bring this leg in so that long lever going down doesn't make you arch too much. All right, there's your rest. Here we go. Flex the feet, lifting up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold 10. Lift the leg, flatten the back, lower the leg down, one, two, three, four, five, six, if you need to hold your leg you can, seven, eight, nine, hold ten, hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Other side, lifting up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lift the leg up, make sure the back is flat. If you need to hold your other leg with your hand, you can. Lowering it down, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it down. Ten, hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Take your legs into a wide position, drop one leg across and just give yourself a stretch out. <coughs> How am I going for time, Andy? 15 minutes. Flip sides. Come up to your tailbone. How's everybody else going? I'm red. <sighs> All right, roll back into a, I'll show you what the exercise looks like before you do it. So you roll back, you bring it in, extend, bring it in, extend, bring it in. Actually, that would have actually felt a lot easier if I'd done that to you at the beginning of the abs, but now I'm doing it to you towards the end of the abs. It's a lot more brutal than it should be. Here we go, roll back, find a position that's good for your back, lift your legs off, elongate back, one, tuck, two, tuck, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, take it all the way back to the floor. Elongate the legs out, elongate the arms out. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Be an interesting video to watch. I'm continuously doing this in this video. Every time things get hard, I'm wrapping my little toes around each other. Come up to a kneeling position, please. We're going into our obliques. If you want something for your knee, you might want to pop something under the knee for comfort. Take the leg out. We're pretending we're on a reformer, on a box. Take your arm across your shoulder. Other, other arm, Sadie. 
Breath in, go over. Breathe out, lift from the obliques, up one. You want to feel like you're between two planes of glass. Two. Three. Four. Wrong arm, Chelsea. Five. You're going away from your straight leg. That's it. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Change legs. You go away from the straight leg. So same arm, same leg. Reach away from the leg. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Very good. Laying on your side. Mirror me if you can so your head will be this end. Bottom arm is down. My palm is facing the floor. My other hand is going to come behind my head. I'm going to lift my body and lift my legs. Now I'm thinking of drawing my rib to my hip. Now, if it gets too much on the neck, you can turn the head or you can take this hand underneath you to support you. You'll see me doing that on and off with it within the exercise. You must make sure that you're contracting that serratus anterior as you pull down. That's what's actually going to help with the neck, lifting the neck up. Make sure your feet are in your peripheral vision. Here we go. Activate the serratus, lifting it up. One. Two, the head does not come all the way back down to the floor, Esmeralda. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Change sides. Palm is down, that's important, this arm is down. Feet in peripheral vision. Find your serratus anterior. Lifting it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. First side. Gets a little bit harder. This time we come up, we hold the position so we don't drop down. This bottom leg lifts, the bottom leg stays lifted, the top leg lifts and it drops. This connection here is uber, super, uber, super important. Again, if this doesn't feel good on the head, you take one hand underneath your head or you drop your head down onto a pillow. All right, here we go. Lifting it up. Lift the bottom leg. Lifting up, one. To make it easier on the neck as well, you can look down, two. Three, find your serratus here. Four, five, or just plain and simply pop your hand underneath your head. Six, seven, 
eight, we're going for 20, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Changing sides. How much left for time? Seven. Palm down. Find your position. Lift your bottom leg, top leg. Up. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Another one of them or traffic control? Traffic controller sitting up. We've got one more ab exercise and I'll do a stretch out at the end. Lift your arms up. Take a breath in. Breathe out. The first thing that happens is you pull your hip bones away from your knee bones and you relax into your lower back. Now activate the abs so you're not hanging in your lower back, but the lower back is open. Breath out, lift arm one, one arm up, one. In down, second arm up, two. Both arms up, three, roll it back up. Take a deep breath in, breath out, roll it back. Breath out, lift up, one. Breath out, lift up, two. Double arms, three, roll it back up. Take a deep breath in, breath out, roll it back. Breath out, one, arm, one. Second arm, two. Double arms, three, roll it back up. Two more rounds, take a deep breath in, breath out, roll it back, one arm, one. Second arm, two, double arms, three, roll it back up. Last round, breath in, breath out, roll it back, lift one arm, one. Second arm, two, double arms, three, Roll it back up. Come to a mermaid position. Let's stretch it out. Comfortable mermaid, mirror me. So you go the other way, Sadie, mirror me. That's it. Drop down to the elbow, take this arm across. Wiggle your fingers around a little bit. Look down towards the floor with your head. Reach and open those ribs up. Reach through your fist. Reach through your fingers and twist. Bring it back. Palm facing me. Reach through your fingers. Wiggle your fingers, open those ribs up. Lift it up, cross, press. And change sides. Drop 
down, taking the arm over, or wiggle the fingers. Reach through the hand, open up the ribs, look down towards the floor. Twisting and going across. Bring it back up and over. Reach through the ribs. Really open this section up by pressing through the fingers. Opening up. Reaching across. Coming back onto your hands and knees. So come back, sorry, into a front, front, front laying position. Laying on your front. You're going to keep your hands where they are. Your legs are going to be separate. We're going to press back into a child's pose, but you're going to keep your hands where they are. So you're not going to be able to get your bottom back to your feet to start with. So you press back, keep the hands where they are, reach back. So to start with, it's a little bit more of an underneath arm stretch. Try and also arch your back a little bit here. So your bum's right up in the air. Now, you're going to allow the hands to drag back as you place your sacrum and coccyx between your legs. Then you're going to press with the hands to try and push your sacrum down more. So you push. You see what I'm doing with my hands? I'm pushing with my hands to push my tailbone between my thighs. Breath in, breathing out, breath in, and breathing out, and we are finished today, guys. Thanks, man.